Today I want to go over what makes a good DSCR loan. We get hundreds and hundreds of calls, emails on what a DSCR does and doesn't do. And we wanted to just go through today what makes a good DSCR loan and good DSCR property. When we look at lending and options for rental properties, DSCR loan, as far as cash flow, comes in probably third when we talk to people. But DSCR loans have a space. They have a very good use. We just want to make sure you're using it in the proper place. So just a refresher, what is DSCR? Debt service coverage ratio loans made for real estate investors, typically 30 year products. There are some other options out there, but 30 years typically what people look for and it's based on the rental income and not your income. I just want to go through today what a good DSCR loan looks like on a good product for a DSCR. Other than that, we always tell people this is a business of cash flow. Look conventional, look at small local banks to get a better rate. So what makes a good DSCR loan, loan in our property? Number one, when you're looking at a DSCR loan, we talked about it, it's all about income. DSCRs are best for borrowers whose current income or the last two years don't qualify for either a conventional loan or a loan from a local bank. Last two years, tax returns are low. So your income does not qualify you for a conventional or bank loan. That's where DSCR comes in, number one is if your tax returns, your income is lower than it needs to be for one of the other two loans. Second, in that same vein, is a lot of people in this industry just started out. So they don't have the two years history, either with the business or the tax returns. So their business is less than two years. It does not matter with DSCR. You could be in business one day. You can start the business the day you actually go under contract or close on your DSCR loan. DSCR lenders do not care when you started, what you're doing in business, because they don't look at any of those things. Conventional banks do. So when you're looking for DSCR, a good DSCR borrower is someone who also has not been in business more than two years. Now we're gonna keep in the same category as we see it a lot, are people who just changed jobs or moved, and they don't have continual history for those two years. So someone who, has changed or moved. If you went from one line of business to another line of business in the conventional or bank, they will look at that in a negative fashion. In DSCR, once again, it does not care. So low income, maybe just started in business or just moved or changed occupations and our business. Number four, we're all investors. A lot of people who fit on DSCR just started investing. So they have no history in investing. When you're looking at the other two options, they do require some history typically, unless you're strong somewhere else. DSCR, once again, not gonna ask. If you fit into one of these things, DSCR is the number one choice for a loan when you're looking at the rental properties. Number five, when you're looking at what is a good DSCR loan, if you want the best rates, if you want the best product, the property has to cash flow, positive cash flow. As an investor, that's the one thing you probably are looking for is cash flow. The more cash flow, the better the DSCR loan you're gonna get. The better the rate, the better the term. So what else makes a good borrower and or property for DSCR? Number six, are those people who already have hit their 10 limit with conventional. Conventional has a limit of 10 loans max for any person. So when you max out your 10, you need to start looking for other options. It offers 30 year fixed rates, which a lot of banks don't offer. They offer the five and seven year fixed. DSCR gives you that 30 year fixed option. Number seven, what makes a good borrower for DSCR? You're looking at the higher the credit score, the better. Those who have low credit scores in this environment, which would be 660 and below, they still have options for DSCR. It's just gonna be expensive. And typically that expense kicks them out of positive cash flowing properties. Instead of getting a seven, seven and a half rate, they're getting nine or nine and a half. In DSCR, who fits? Who is best for DSCR? Someone with a high credit score. Number eight, what makes a good property or a good borrower for DSCR? It's someone who's gonna hold it at least three to five years. Unlike conventional, unlike banks, they come with prepays. That means if you pay them off within that prepay, 
and a typical prepay is either three or five years. Yes, you could get them down to zero, but the rates go so high, you're not gonna be able to cash flow property in any market. So what makes a good DSCR property or investor is someone who's looking at holding that property, not refinancing it or selling it during their prepayment period, either the three to five years. Number nine for DSCR, what makes a good DSCR loan? And this just comes with the history that we talked to so many people. It has to be turnkey, which means it's done. The property needs no work. People are still inquiring, is a DSCR loan good for a flip? It is not good for a flip. It's not gonna give you any of the money for the repairs. And remember, it comes typically with a prepay. When you're looking at DSCR, what's a good fit in there? It's a property that is ready to rent turnkey, no work that needs to be done to it. You could buy it, rent it, and start making money. Last, what makes a good borrower or property for DSCR is someone who's looking for interest-only payments. Banks don't offer it. Fannie Freddie Conventional does not offer interest-only either. So DSCR offers interest-only loans, improves your cash flow, allows you to maybe you know have five or 10 years in a period where all you're paying is interest Property's still increasing, your cash flow is better. I just wanna make sure you understand what fits and what's best for DSCR loans. We have a lot of calls and when people call and talk about the different loans for real estate investment properties, rentals, we always start with conventional loans, then we go to local banks and then DSCR. And that is based on, you know, our company is called the cash flow company. We're looking at cash flow. Properties cash flow better with lower rates. Lower rates come with conventional, local banks, and then DSCR. So when you're looking at this, make sure you're using it in the right place for the right property. DSCR is a very popular product out there. It's a good product, but when you're looking for cash flow, always look at all of your options before you just jump into a loan. Now, if you're looking for the best cash flow, you need to know what's the best rates, what's the best term, who can offer a loan with the lowest credit score, whatever that is, we have a report, it's called the Mortgage Report. Just click below, we'd be glad to send it out to you. Now, if you wanna make more money in real estate, we'll see you on the next video.